read a Christmas tale. It was Christmas Day, not long after dawn. Rufus awoke with a shiver and a yawn. He looked outside. The scene was icy cold, but he was Rufus, courageous and bold. Rufus loved his Christmas morning tradition at the veggie plot on a harvesting mission. But his human dad liked to work alone and always told Rufus to play with his bone. Human dad had so many things he had to do. Rufus decided he would pull a carrot or two. And although the ground was hard and frozen, the largest carrots strong Rufus had chosen. The first few carrots came up with ease. Rufus thought, this carrot pulling is a breeze. But the last carrot to pull was the largest of all. Poor Rufus pulled, slipped over and did Ball. Rufus shook himself down and had another go. He was a strong BT, he'd let that carrot know. He gripped the carrot's top as tightly as he dare and pulled so hard he flew up in the air. As he somersaulted, his little heart did pound. The carrot had gone, leaving a hole in the ground. Out of control there was nothing he could do and deep underground the border terrier flew. Covered in red devon dust with his fur in tats. Rufus looked up. He was surrounded by rats. I am a border terrier called Rufus the Red. A BT or rat kind should fear and dread. There were dozens of rats and none looked scared. Their teeth shone and their mean eyes glared. Ah, it's the great rat catching BT. How brave are you now? We will see. The rats charged, sensing a victory that day. Rufus growled and wouldn't back away. As they clashed, they heard the clang of a spade. But all carried on fighting, they were not afraid. Rufus battled and the rats fought well. Rufus soon longed for the first round bell. Rufus was losing. The rats knew they could win. But all of a sudden the cave's roof fell in. In the massive crater lay Rufus the Red, surrounded by day's rats and human dad's shed. Rufus groaned and stared up at his human dad. All Rufus could think was, oh dear, this looks bad. This poem was written by Chazzy Arnold, the painter and poet, an honorary poet to the BT Posse.